guys, Jim here from Ann Sets and Such. I'm v -Sented. I am making um, one last batch today. I have made five. But this one, I have made this soap a couple of times. Um, and it sells super fast. This is the Aleppo soap. And this time, I actually, um, instead of just messing around with a five pound batch, I'm going with my big slab. And we'll do the big, because it takes such a long time to cure um, that, you know, it's just better for me just to, to great, do a great big slab. Because the last time I listed it, it sold in like five minutes. And I have another listing for it um, in January, and I know that those bars are going to go super fast. Um, so I'm going to make 39 bars and then some mini bars of this. In here, all I have is 70% olive oil and 30% laurel berry oil. It's uh, on subcalc. It is under laurel fruit oil. And then I have water and lye. That is it. That is all that is in this soap. So my lye water is actually still pretty hot, um, but my laurel berry oil was really thick. Um, so I'm not, I'm not too concerned with, uh, soaping, you know, pretty hot here because I, I, there's no swirls, no colors, no fragrance. It's just a mixture of these four ingredients and that is that. Your olive oil, your laurel berry oil, water, and lye. That is it. Oh, I need my stick blender. Okay. started. Some of the olive oil that I used in this one is a, was a little bit darker than my last batch, so this soap may be a little bit more green. Which is fine. some olive oil at the grocery store that was on sale. sure we don't have any air bubbles. Really this is all there is to it. But I've not done a slab video of this one so you know. emulsification right now. Blenders had a pretty heavy workout today.
right. Making a mess. I should have got the plate like I did earlier. You know, that really works. Holly's a smart lady. <coughs> Alright. Oh, let's get this bad boy over here. It's about 16 pounds of soap. Need some help, mommy. Do I need help? Yeah. No, I'm okay. Thank you. Let me pour this and then I'll look. I'm making air bubbles. What? This. You want to play with it? Yeah. Well, go ahead and take it in the living room. little handheld vacuum I bought. The kids love that little thing. It's a little black and decker and it works wonderful. Mommy look! Mommy look! Oh wow! What Okay guys, I'm actually going to, not in here, I'm going to pause, Noah, not in here, oh. I'm going to pause and let this set up, and then I'll texture the top. <laughs> okay guys, I'm back to texture my soap, I hope it's not too stiff, um, I've actually loaded, I cleaned out all of the soap dishes, I wiped them all out with paper towels and then I run it through the dishwasher so everything has been wiped out the dishwasher is loaded and this is ready to be textured Now I'm just guessing, I'm going to play with the whole top, I'm watching the sink because I'm filling up the pot I used to make this soap with hot soapy water. This is perfect consistency.
I'm actually going to go down these two right here also. Perfect. I think it looks wonderful. All right, guys, I'll bring you back when we cut this bad boy. Hey, guys, I'm back to cut the Aleppo soap. And... <laughs> sit here for a year, mm -hmm. pretty much. It's gonna be here a while. After six, you! Six yeah, <laughs> I have to stamp all of these, too. I don't clean these ones up. I just I stamp them. And then that's, that's it. Okay. Uh, it's kind of boring. <laughs> You're gonna cut all thirty nine. Okay. No, I'll just do the one loaf on camera. Cause it's all the same. Mm -hmm. It's a plain bar of soap. It's amazing that it takes that long to cure. Well, it's not that it takes that long. It's just that's what the people that make Aleppo soap, you know, the real over. Mm -hmm. Cause nobody really knows exactly how it's made. Um, Cause you know they've not give out the recipe or anything. Mm -hmm. We just have a best idea, mm -hmm. um, and that's how long they they, they do uh, six to nine months before they sell it. It sits. They they stack it in round, um, like they stack the bars because they're they're square bars, mm -hmm. and they stack them in a circle and mm -hmm. they you know alternate. Build they, like a tower with uh -huh. them. And the towers just, and then when they're ready to wrap them, they just knock the tower over. That's awesome. And it's kind of cool. Oh no! You I have took neighbors. mine off because I slid. At least we have underwear on. I'm sliding. I'm naked. I see that. Go naked. Alright guys, going to cut the last bar. And that's that. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.